Welcome to the Number Block Rally. Ten riders, ten pedal-powered cars, but only one can lift the trophy. So let's go over to the start line. Everybody ready? Hey, wait. Has anybody seen one? Coming. Pedal, 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 pedal. Let's go. Vroom, vroom. Hope you're ready to play with the high rollers. <clears throat> Are we ready? Steady. Go! <laughs> Unbeatable. But wait, she's lost a wheel. Let's see that again in slow motion. Ten wheels minus one wheel equals nine wheels left. Ten minus one equals nine. is out of the race as Nine takes a surprise lead. Nice day for it. <laughs> and what makes it really surprising is that Nine's in last place too. Well, next to last, keep pedalling one. Octoblock race. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Race! It's in trouble. Those two front blocks are about to go. Oh, eight. Minus two. Equals six. Look out! Phew, that was lucky. Seven. Minus three. Equals four. Four wheel drive. Yay! 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 <laughs> Six has caught up with nine as they enter the double dipper. Mind that dip. Nine minus three equals six. And the double dips. Six minus three equals three. And what a close shave for nine. Six cutting it fine there. Do you mind? I'm commentating here. No, I'm commentating. No, I am. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. No, me, me, me. Yeah. Pull yourselves together. <laughs> three plus three equals <laughs> <laughs> Back in action. And with the finish line in sight, it's four in the lead. Then <sighs> I need a breather. Octoblock coming through. Uh oh. Uh -oh. One in the lead, followed by one, but here's one coming up on the inside. Nine ones equals... Nine! Nice day for it. <laughs> oh, I'm first! Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, I said only one can lift the trophy. And I was right. <laughs> Follow me. We're nearly there. No peeking, Red. You'll ruin the surprise. <laughs> We're here. Open your eyes. Ta-da! Whoa! What is this place, Yellow? Just wait until you see inside. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yay!
Welcome to the Printing Zone! The Printing Zone? That's right! I'd like you to meet my friends, Cyan and Magenta! New, New colours! <laughs> and they're so bright! Hi, I'm Cyan. <laughs> I'm pretty chilled. Apart from on the racetrack because I live to race. Cyan, you look a bit like Blue. <laughs> I'm like Blue, but I'm different. I'm Cyan. Cool. Ah, yeah, I'm Magenta. Ooh. And I'm easy to spot. I'm always thrilled to fix things up, especially my racing cartridge. Oh, oh, you look a bit like me, Magenta. Exciting! Well, I, I suppose I'm a bit reddish, but I'm a different colour. I'm magenta. You won't forget me in a hurry. Hang on a minute, Yellow. How did you know about the printing zone? Yes, how come you know and we don't? Oh, I've been part of the printing crew for ages. Speeding around in my cartridge makes me super happy. Printing crew? Cartridge? Let's show them how it's done, printing crew! Cyan! Magenta! Yellow! The, the Printing crew. crew! Ready to print? Let's do this! And blue! Oh. oh no! I'm running out of yellow! <laughs> we need more colour! We can help! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yellow! It's, it's green, green to, to the, the rescue! rescue. We were racing to create something thrilling. Together! Come on, printing crew. Let's show them what we mean. Ready? Ready! Ready. One, One, two, two three. three. Time, Time for, for you, you to, to see. see! Whoa! What's happening? Come outside and have a look. you do that? When we mix together... We can make lots of colours. In fact, cyan, magenta and yellow can mix any colour you like. The possibilities are endless. Now we have our pit crew to refill our ink. Who's up for another race? Me! <laughs> 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 I'm very, very fast. Very sorry, Jay. Didn't see you there. That's because I was flying, V. I'm a Jay, a jolly Jay bird. I can fly. <laughs> That's not flying. Can you help me fly, Anne? Mm -mm. Not me. Ah. Ah. Mm. Van. <laughs> Jumping juggernauts. Is that a flying machine? It's a van that will take us on a trip to find 
someone who can help you fly. Jumping jelly blocks. I'm going to fly. Coming in? Mm -mm. No way. Never. Not me. Hey, Jay. We're on our way, Jay. Everything's gonna be okay, Jay. Come what may, we're, we're gonna, gonna help, help you fly. fly. We, we don't know how we're gonna, gonna do it, it, but we can do it if we try. We're gonna find a way for you to fly. Is it O? Is it G? Can you help me fly? Oh, j, oh, g, jog, 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 jog. I'm a jolly J bear. I can fly. Is it I? Can you help me fly? J, i, g, jig, jig, jig. Jig! Jig! Look Jig. at me! Jig. I can fly! Jig! Oh! Uh -huh. Is it you? Can you help me fly? Uh-oh! Uh. Jig! Oh! G! Jug! Uh -huh. Unbelievable! Who turned the lights off? Look at me! Uh -huh. I can fly! Uh -huh. <laughs> When will we find someone to help me fly? Very, very soon. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I can do it if I try. I'm going to find a way for Jay to fly. Time for tea. Is it tea? Is it tea? I'll never find someone to help me fly. Wait, Jay! V-e-t. Vet! I am a vet. I'm very good at helping animals, especially jaybirds. Let me check your wings. <laughs> now, close your eyes. <laughs> J -e -t. Jet! Jumping jumbos! Is it a flying machine? Your very own jet. Jump aboard, everyone. Are you coming, V? <gasps> Race you! <laughs> hey, Jay, you're on your way, Jay. To the moon and the Milky Way, Jay. What a day. You found a way to fly. We didn't think that we could do it And now you're soaring through the sky Now we have found a way for Jay to fly Now we found a way for Jay to fly Until she popped up somewhere new Olive found herself on board a bus with some other passengers But the bus didn't seem to be moving. Hello, I'm Olive. Where's this bus going today? I'm Jeff, and this bus is going nowhere until I find my glasses. I can't drive the bus without them. I must have left them at the last stop when I got out for a cup of tea. Well, why don't I drive the bus back to the last stop so you can look for them? Well, you can't drive a bus without a driving licence. Actually, I have one of those. Oh, OK. Hop in the driver's seat, Olive. I'll give you directions. Whoa. They set off, but it wasn't long before they hit a problem. Excuse me, I wanted to get off at the corner shop bus stop to buy some milk, but we've gone past it. Eh, uh, don't worry, we'll go back. Uh, Olive, it's down there and left a bit. Unfortunately, without his glasses, Jeff couldn't see properly, and so his directions took the bus into the middle of a field, not the corner shop. Oh, dear. Ah, I see now. This way, please, Olive. Excuse me. I wanted to get off at the Arts Gallery stop to go and buy a painting of a beautiful landscape, but we seem to have missed it. Sorry. Um, we can go back, can't we, Jeff? Of course we can. So Jeff gave Olive directions to the gallery, although he didn't seem to notice that he was talking to a sheep and not to Olive. So instead of stopping at the gallery, 
they ended up at the beach. The passengers had a lovely paddle whilst Olive consulted a big map. Hey, Ostrich, go. What's the deal with the bus stops? When are we going to get to the skate park? Um, yes, just a minute. All aboard. Olive set off, following Jeff's directions, and found herself in the middle of a herd of cows on top of a mountain. Keg, this doesn't look right. Oh, dear. Sorry, everybody. Olive, what are we going to do? The passengers all complained loudly. I just want you to buy a oh, pint of milk and come right the past your shop. It's no good at all. Oh, Some frustrated passengers, a herd of cows and a big, tall mountain. I think I may have an idea. Olive whispered into the ear of a cow who was trying to get on the bus. The cow mooed enthusiastically. Ooh. Why don't you take this cow home with you? Then you'll have as much milk as you like. Great. Hi, I'm Colin. Moo! You know, if you took a photo from the top of this mountain, it'd be better than any painting in the gallery. You're right. It's an amazing view. I have an idea for you, too. Hey, cool. The boy hopped on his skateboard and whizzed off down the mountain. Hey! At that moment, a farmer appeared at the door of the bus. Hello. All my farm animals are missing. Have you seen them? Oh, well, actually, we do seem to have a bus full of um, farm animals. Do we? Are they yours? Yes, they are. Florence, why are you wearing glasses? Glasses? They must have been on the bus all this time. Thank you, Olive. Ah, there you are. Right, shall we take everyone home? Olive, which stop would you like? I think I'll hop off here. Any longer and I'll be driven round the bend. <laughs> they all laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Gag! Actually, I was driving a bus all over the place. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. This way, silly duck. Quickly, we have to catch the bus. Where? Where? There's no time for going down slides, silly duck. We must stay here and wait for the bus. Where? Silly duck, silly duck. I said there's no time for slides. We don't want to miss the bus, okay? No more slides. Silly duck. Silly duck, listen. Silly duck, listen. We have to catch the bus. We have a bus to catch. We must get on that bus. So don't go down the slide. Silly duck. What did I say about going down the slide? That's right. I said don't go down the... The bus! No! Silly duck! Silly duck! Come down! We're going to miss the bus! <laughs> Silly duck! Olive found herself in a city surrounded by beautiful buildings. Instead of roads, there were canals filled with water. Oh, eh. It's going to be hard to explore without getting my feet wet. Olive heard an odd oh, wailing sound. Stand from. Who's making that dreadful racket? Man. A man wearing a stripy top and a straw hat was rowing along and making the racket. He was trying to sing. Oh, so yeah, me. Oh, that must be the worst tour of Venice ever. Well, this silly gondola was your choice. Oh, so it's my fault. Excuse me, was there a problem with your boat trip? I'll say, that gondolier has the worst voice I've ever heard. The couple.
couple stomped off, oh. leaving a very sad-looking gondolier. Hello, I'm Olive. Oh. Can I help at all? Oh, ciao, Olive. I'm Domino Flamingo, gondolier. It is traditional for gondoliers to sing as we row people around the canals of Venice. But I have a terrible singing voice. Oh, so lame. Ah, soon I will have no customers at all. Well, I'd love to take a tour with you. You are very kind. But no, my singing will only upset you. I've had enough for today. As Olive walked away, she wondered if there was a way she could help Domino. But Olive's stroll was soon interrupted. What the heck? What's the parrot doing here? What's the parrot oh. doing here? It's for sale. Oh. Came a whispered voice from a window above the street. That bird drives me crazy. It copies every sound it hears. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. The parrot oh. certainly seemed good at copying sounds. Hmm. A gondolier with a terrible singing voice, a parrot that can copy any sound. I think I may have an idea. I think I may have an idea. Olive bought the parrot from its unhappy owner, then put a cover over the cage. Just to stop you from getting too hot. Just to stop you from getting too hot. She hurried back to the jetty where Domino was waiting. Domino, can you please take me somewhere where I can hear some singing? See, si, I can take you to the opera house. So Domino rode Olive to the opera house. At a balcony, they could see an opera singer practising. Oh, sole mio, stan fronte a te. Oh, I Man wish I could sing like that. That's the plan. As Domino rode away from the opera house, he was surprised as the beautiful singing continued. Oh, sole oh. mio. Eh, impossible. Who sings so beautifully? Olive showed Domino the parrot. This parrot can perch behind you and do all the singing. You just need to row and pretend to be the singer. Oh, bravo, Olive. Bravo, Olive. All of Domino's customers <laughs> loved what they thought was him singing to them. Oh, sole mio. Oh, thank you, Olive, for saving my career as a gondolier. Would you like to stay and become a gondolier too? I don't think so. I find all this gondoliering a bit repetitive. I find all this gondoliering a bit repetitive. <laughs> they all laughed. And as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Okay, actually, I helped a gondolier find a singing voice. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. Oh, happy to see you! Hi, Hi Printing Crew! crew. Oh, <laughs> we've run out of ink. Can you help us? No problem, Yellow. Your pit crew is here. Cyan! Magenta! Yellow! Right, printing crew. Are you ready to mix some ink? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. <sighs> wow! Huh. This is the best view! Cyan! Magenta! Yellow too! Watch us mix with the printing crew! Whoa! Make red! Make red! Magenta! And yellow! Oh, yay! Magenta and yellow mixing to make red is my favourite bit! Cool! Me next! Mix blue, printing crew! It's blue, but a bit different from me. Cool. We can make lots of different blues, even blue like you. No green! Fire! And yellow! Oh, hang on a minute. I thought yellow mixes with me to make green. Blue and yellow do mix to make green, but this is a new green. You see, I'm yellow and I'm close to blue, 
So, so together, together, you can make a fresh new green. Cool. Wanna see something else cool? Yes. yes. Show us. Fire! Magenta! Yellow! Ta-da! Now you can really see what the printing crew can do. Oh, look! When cyan, magenta and yellow mix together, they make black. That's right, green. But it's the hardest colour to mix because we all have to colour the same spot. It can get a bit messy. Do it again, please. OK, printing crew, let's mix! <laughs> 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 Oh, my! I'm out of fire! And I'm worn out. <laughs> Phew! It's a lot of work to mix black. We've used so much ink. I don't think we can mix any more. <gasps> Who is that? to join the printing crew. We could use your help. <laughs> well, you'll be needing one of these then, Black. Cyan! Magenta! Yellow and... Black! The, the printing, printing crew, crew is back on track! track. She could hear some tinkly music. It was coming from a little white van that was parked nearby. And Olive could see all sorts of things inside the van. Oh, burger! Those look tasty! exclaimed Olive. Olive was wearing a white overall and a special paper hat. She could hear strange grunts coming from inside the van. Hello? Are you all right? asked Olive. And she reached in through the window to help. Up popped a very cold lady. Thanks, shivered the lady. I'm Milly Vanilla. I'm Olive. Pleased to meet you. Oh, you're cold. You need to warm up. Oh, no. If I do that, my ice cream will melt and I need it for a birthday party. Ice cream? Yes. It's a very tasty treat and I don't want to boast, but my ice cream is the very best. She reached into the freezer and scooped some ice cream into a cornet for Olive to taste. I had a secret ingredient, whispered Millie, and she stuck a stick of chocolate on top. Olive licked the ice cream. Mm, it's very tasty. Like I said, the very best. Now I mustn't be late for the party. Would you like to help me? Oh, yes, please. Olive jumped into the van and they drove off. They were nearly there when Olive heard a bang. The van stopped with such a bump that all the chocolate sticks fell out of the window. Olive and Millie got out to see what was wrong. One of the tyres was completely flat. All the air's leaked out. But Millie was more worried about the big brown puddle on the ground. What's worse, all my chocolate sticks have melted in the sun. What am I going to do? At least we still have the ice cream. But how can I get to the party with a hole in my tyre? Olive looked through the ice cream van window and saw the cornets and cherries. Hmm, cornets? Cherries? I think I may have an idea. She bit the end off a cornet and stuck it in the hole in the tyre. Then she scooped up the melted chocolate and poured it in through the hole. When the tyre was full, Olive plugged the hole with a cherry. Oh, good as new. Thanks, Olive. And so, with the tyre fixed, they drove to the party. The children cheered as Olive and Millie handed out ice cream cornets, but the birthday boy looked 
puzzled. Where's my chocolate stick? He asked. Millie began to sniffle. He only likes ice cream with a chocolate stick stuck in it. Well, never mind. Olive told the boy. This is the very best ice cream. Mm, not without the chocolate stick, it isn't. He noticed the mended tyre. Hey, if I can't have a chocolate stick, can I have that cherry? Oh, not that one! Cried Olive. But before Olive could stop him, the boy pulled the cherry out of the tyre. <laughs> chocolate sprayed out of the hole, splashing everyone and everything. Oh, no! Said Olive. But then she heard the birthday boy laughing. Hey, this chocolate tastes amazing. In fact, this is the very best chocolate in the world. Surprised, Olive and Millie tasted their ice creams. Yum! Yum! I don't want to boast, but he's right. Boasted Millie. Which makes this the very best ice cream in the world. Everyone <laughs> laughed. And as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Typical Olive, daydreaming again. Said her mum. Forget Actually, I made the very best ice cream in the world. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear. Said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. Let's see. Ticket, toothbrush, teapot, teacup, ten tea bags, tip top. I'm ready for the trip. I love holidays. They're so relaxing. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> no, Em. We haven't even left. <sighs> ready to raise anchor, shipmates? I am. I am. Is anyone missing? One, two, three, four. <laughs> hey, take cover. <laughs> I do wish you wouldn't do that, eh? It's not funny. Hey! Ah! Hey! That was painful. Right! Time to hit the road! Transport! I forgot to arrange transport. Hey! Are we nearly there yet? No! no. Not to worry. We'll just have to make something. Er. A. Uh. Rail. Er. A railway. Tremendous tracks. We'll be on the trail in no time. Is the train late? According to the timetable, it won't be here for another two hours, twelve minutes and twenty-two tedious seconds. We can't, can't wait that, that long. long. We'll, we'll have, have to, to try again. Er, A. Mm. Rain. <laughs> Rain? What a pain. Are we nearly there yet? No. Rain. Rain? Try this. Er, A, M, train. At last! Aha! All aboard, shipmates. Terrific! Now this is the way to travel. Wait for me! Tally ho! We're off on the trip of a lifetime. Wait! Whoops! Are we nearly? No! Done? I was only asking. Tell you what, take my seat. We hoped we'd catch you. Want to drive? Choo choo! All aboard! We're off again. No! The train has come and stopped. Come back! Looks like we're not going anywhere. Cheer up! Chances are we can help. A. Mm. Chain. Nice work. Fabulous! A train. 
for a change. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm at the front. Believing at last. has failed! That's it! This trip is terminated! S you mean the holiday's off? Arr. We'll soon sort this out! S S A oh. Sail! Terrific! Now that is the way to travel! Set a course for sun, sea and sand! Tally ho Are we nearly there yet? Olive found herself in a busy Bangkok market filled with stores Ooh. selling everything from dragon puppets to silk cushions to coconut ice cream in buns. Olive was wearing a bright scarf, sandals and a wide straw hat. Cake! What a lively place! A small three-wheeled vehicle drove up and stopped near Olive. Inside, there was a driver and a woman wearing sunglasses sitting in the back. The woman peered out. How much for that dragon puppet, please? Olive looked around at the dragon puppet on a nearby stall. Um, I don't know. Sorry. I'm Olive. Oh, sorry, Olive. I thought you were a stall holder. My name is Katya and I'm on holiday here in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm in a hurry to buy lots of souvenirs before my flight leaves for home. Maybe I can help you, Katya. Oh, yes, please. That would be wonderful. They are all for my family and friends, you see. Katya handed some money to the actual stall holder and Olive picked out one of the colourful dragon puppets. OK, what else do you need to buy, Katya? Here's my shopping list, Olive. We can travel around the market in this tuk-tuk. Katya handed Olive a very oh. long list. OK, next on the list, a surfboard. Olive hopped aboard the tuk-tuk and they were off, zooming through the busy market streets until the driver came to a stop at a stall selling surfboards. Ah, is that one, please? A cake! That's a big one! Olive struggled to lift the surfboard onto the tuk-tuk. OK, what's next? A big box of battery fans. Olive and Katya were driven all around the market, collecting every souvenir on the list. Thank you very much. Oh, phew! This does not work. Next, four pairs of Thai boxing gloves. A couple of giant inflatable sharks. And finally, some rolls of colourful silk. Now everything had been bought, Katya was keen to get to the airport to make her flight home. My flight leaves soon. To the airport, please, driver. But now the truck truck was so heavy with all the shopping, the driver could not get it to move. Cake, what are we going to do? I don't know, Olive. I can't leave the souvenirs behind. Olive looked over to the airport across the bay and noticed the little boats on the water. Then she looked at the pile of souvenirs. Hmm, a surfboard, some inflatable sharks, a box of fans. I think I may have an idea. Instead of wheels, maybe we can use wind. Wind? What do you mean, Olive? Watch this. Olive strapped the surfboard under the tuk-tuk's front wheel and stuck the inflatable sharks to its sides and then attached all the fans to the back, turning all of them on at once. Hold on, everyone. Suddenly, the tuk-tuk zoomed forward, off the road and into the water. Oh, here we come! Soon, the little tuk-tuk was bumping along over the water and heading for the airport on the far shore. Thank you, Olive. Just in time for my flight, too. Happy to help, Katya. Uh, maybe you can take this tuk-tuk back to the market and shop for souvenirs, too. Oh, thanks, but I'm pretty tired after all that shopping. I think it's probably time I tuk tuk myself home as well. <laughs> they both laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Okay, actually, I've been doing some serious shopping in Bangkok. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs>